Hey guys, Hank here again. And so today we're gonna to discuss a pre-workout that me and BD made largely based on the formula that I came up with and basically why we chose what we did and, and why it might benefit you and why you should considering it, adding it to your PE routine or even your workout routine. And so to start, you know, we have to talk about the main ingredient, which is gonna be L-citrulline. So if you haven't seen my video on L-citrulline before, you, you need to check that out. And so I explain in detail all the benefits of citrulline, ultimately leading to increased nitric oxide production. If you remember, nitric oxide is what's responsible for actual smooth muscle relaxation, allowing your penis to actually engorge and fill up with blood to maximize your erections, okay? The problem is that about 30 to 40 percent of men, for example, they don't respond to Viagra because they don't have that nitric oxide, that precursor available in their body. And so there's been studies like this one that have shown that many men with erectile dysfunction often have lower levels of citrulline and arginine in their system. But more importantly, you have to keep in mind like what could citrulline be used for, especially when it comes to PE purposes. Well, once again, I covered this in detail in my videos, but there are studies showing that it can help with endothelial repair, meaning the lining of the blood vessels. It can help repair those blood vessels and help them to function more appropriately. There are studies that have shown that when you actually ligate a rat neurovascular bundle, that you have preservation of the smooth muscle and prevention of penile fibrosis with citrulline. You can have a six-fold increase in erection quality with the citrulline. It's tolerated well. Once again, another study showing that you can have major EQ improvements with the citrulline-based supplement as well as decreased penile fibrosis. Then, of course, there's also some evidence that shows that you can actually have improved actual workouts when you are looking at taking citrulline because of that uh, nitric oxide that is created in the way that has allowed your muscles to actually engorge and maximize your output. And so this has been proven in both upper and lower body workouts. And so you need to have a good source of citrulline, which is what we have in our product. And so when we're talking just citrulline alone, we have five grams of citrulline in our product, which is in line with, of course, the industry well, industry standards range from anywhere to about, you know, 1.5 milligrams all the way up to 5 milligrams or more in some cases. But this was a very thoughtful discussion, and I'll tell you where I broke down my opinion on the dosing. Of course, once again, BD had input on this as well. So where do the studies that could even come from that show where to even look to see what the dosing is? Well, in this study, they showed a measurable benefit in erectile hardness or firmness to missants, if you will, with 1.5 grams of citrulline daily. And so all the patients in this study had significant increases in hardness of their erections that was measurable and that was significant on what we call a p-value which is basically a measure of significance and so that was seen with only 1.5 grams of citrulline so hey why aren't we using 1.5 grams of citrulline well this is also a product made for improvement of actual athletic performances and so when you actually look at the athletic performance studies most of the studies are usually using a combination of both citrulline and malate and so in these studies that i'm going to show here and there's another study that i'll show talk about as well, they used basically 8 grams of citrulline malate, which ended up being 4.5 grams of citrulline due to the basically arrangement that they had of the citrulline malate. And it showed that you had increased athletic performance and reduced muscle soreness, okay? And as I'll talk about below, malic acid is, is a key component to this. And so there is another study that showed that, uh, once again, you still have these significant improvements in energy output, endurance, and muscular strength when you were looking at using both citrulline and malate or malic acid. And so we basically took the studies looking at doses for athletic performance, which is around four and a half grams more or less, combined with those need for what you need for maximum erectile efficiency. And we came up with about five grams, which I think is an, an important dose and it is the appropriate dose to use. And it also leaves room if you don't want to take quite so much, you can take a half scoop. Okay. If you want to take more, you can take a, you can take more than one scoop and, you know, titrate the level that you need. But basically that's where the dosing came from. An important thing to also keep in mind is, oh, well, citrulline is found in watermelon. Why don't I just eat a bunch of watermelon? Okay, well, in order to get even close to that 1.5 grams of citrulline, you need to eat about 20 cups of watermelon. So if, if that's your choice and you have access to 20 cups of watermelon um, that you can take multiple times a day, then more power to you, my friend. The next component that we'll talk about is, is malic acid. I'm going to go on a little mini tangent right here, but guys, we can like have a discussion on Reddit. Like, you don't have to be a fucking asshole in the comments section to get your point across, but there's a guy that was like, like, why did you include malic acid on here or malate? There's no data for this and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, dude, why can't you just say, hey man, you know, that's interesting choice. Why did you include malic acid? There's no data for it. I just don't understand why people have to default to being kind of dickheads when it comes to, to Reddit. So, you know, if you have a question or concern about the, you know, anything in our product, you just ask, just, you don't have to be like so aggressive or so negative about that shit, man. But anyways, and so why do we use malic acid? Well, malic acid, you know, there is some evidence that it actually improves absorption of citrulline. It's kind of shitty data 
and that's why I'm not pulling up like a paper right here because there isn't a great paper I can point to that clearly shows that malic acid improves citrulline absorption. But what it does do is you have improved ATP production and improved basically energy efficiency and improved cellular energy production because the malic acid works in as far as the, the TCA cycle or the Krebs cycle for those who have like a biochemistry background as far as cellular energy production in ATP. So when you actually look at the tricarboxylic acid cycle or TCA cycle, you can see that you can augment that aerobic energy production, meaning like when you're breathing and you have access to oxygen, you can actually improve that energy production and mitigate lactic acid. So lactic acid, if you're doing some kind of endurance sport you're, or lifting and your muscles start hurting and start burning, that's from lactic acid buildup. And so what you can see is that acid or malate can minimize that. And so it can be very effective as far as maximizing your energy output during workouts. And so once again, this is a PE pre-workout, but also just a pre-workout to go to the gym with. So it has dual function. So the next ingredient is inositol arginine silicate, okay, or nitrosignine. And so we use 500 milligrams of that. So what in the hell is even nitrosignine anyways? Okay, so it's basically a stabilized form of arginine that helps to minimize any kind of destruction of the arginine that naturally occurs during the, the metabolic process, okay? And so if you watch my video on citrulline versus arginine, what's it, what is better? You know, citrulline is better because citrulline gets converted to arginine, but it does so in such a way that more arginine is bioavailable. When you just take arginine, you have something that's called first pass metabolism, where basically the arginine gets broken down between your stomach and your intestines. And so you actually don't have access to that arginine. And so you can have like 20% availability if you just take arginine. However, this the nitrosignine actually improves your ability to, to process that arginine and helps keep it available. And so studies have shown that you can have increased levels of blood arginine for up to six hours post-ingestion because once again, guys, when you're actually looking at why citrulline works, citrulline gets broken down into arginine. And so when you're measuring kind of like what is more bioavailable, you actually measure, well, number one, the blood nitric oxide levels, but also you measure the levels of arginine that are in the bloodstream. And so you can have the increased levels of arginine in your bloodstream for up to six hours post ingestion. There are also some pretty interesting studies, which I'll pull up here, that actually show that the combination of both citronine and arginine actually can lead to improved bioavailability of the arginine uh, when you combine the two, and that can help improve athletic performance. So once again, more nitric oxide availability, more arginine leads to better erection, better nitric oxide, okay? But then of course, from a pre-workout standard, there's also some evidence that shows that you have improved energy, increased muscle pumps, and decreased markers of muscle damage when you are taking that nitrosignine, okay? It also contains silica. So believe it or not, silica or, you know, the, the silicate, the last part of this product, it has significant evidence that can improve cognitive effects and has a role of actually limiting Alzheimer's disease. Part of the way that it works is it can help ensure your, your vascular integrity so it can help keep your arteries functioning at higher levels. It also improves nitric oxide levels and believe it or not, guys, this specific compound has been proven to actually improve cognition, okay? And so there have been studies that have shown that your ability to perform complex cognitive tests are actually improved when taking this supplement, or like this study that I'll pull up here, but also studies in just otherwise healthy adults, you have, once again, improved test or scores and improved memory capacity when you're taking this nitrosignine, okay? There's other kind of random benefits like improved bone health, improvement in periodontal disease, and even decreased wound healing healing time, that was in actually in, in rat data. And some of that was actually topical application of this product. But it's still very interesting that you can have such improved athletic performance and improved cognition. And so if you were just taking, you know, citrulline, or for example, you know, there is some little evidence that it can help with things like Alzheimer's disease. But really the data for improved cognition comes from this specific compound, which is part of why we included it. So whether you're working out or doing your PE, you can have increased cognition and you can have increased uh, energy and increased focus. Okay. Where did we get the dose from? Well, if you look at these studies on performance improvement, they were done using about 1500 milligrams. Okay. But in these studies, they were only using this product. And so if you want to have increased nitric oxide availability amongst the other benefits of the supplement, and that was the only supplement you were using, you would want to have more. For our product, we already have multiple different 
nitric oxide boosting components to it and so we don't want to kind of overload the system and also leave room for if you want for example to take more citrulline you can take a double scoop and not be exceeding the tolerance for some of these structures like this component here so 500 milligrams is a healthy benefit or is it it's a healthy dose where you can still get these benefits what's next well there's a compound that's called vasodrive is the name it's isoleucine proline and veil proline and it's a combination of the two and so this is derived it's these are what we call tripeptides that are actually derived from milk or casein protein just like you know people are jumping down my throat oh my god i can't believe what in the fuck how could you possibly include soy in your pro in your you know semen volume boosting formula i can't believe that or do you hate men it's like, guys, can y'all chill the fuck out and at least let me explain before you jump down my throat? So yes, this is a tripeptide derived from milk. And so those that are anti-milk, you know, bring the smoke, whatever, fuck, I'm here for it. But basically what they do is they induce the substances that lead to vasodilation, including nitric oxide, okay? Why does this matter for PE? Well, one of the big things that's been demonstrated with this particular product is that it can help to significantly uh, reverse endothelial dysfunction, okay? And so once again, your endothelial is a lining of the blood vessels and that's what typically gets disrupted in most forms of erectile dysfunction and so especially when you're talking about erectile dysfunction from things like diabetes or chronic hypertension or even smoking for example and so what this product can literally do is reverse that endothelial dysfunction and it's even used in people with like aortic or like major arterial dysfunction to reverse that this also has evidence of ACE inhibition okay your angiotensin converting enzyme so what is that so angiotensin is a kind of a substance that's created in your body with so for example if you're dehydrated in order to make sure that you're still adequately perfusing your body adequately your vessels are adequately pumping that blood out where they need to go and maintaining enough blood pressure to keep you functioning angiotensin is one of those things that helps to make sure that your blood pressure is maintained and so with this specific product the vasodrive you have evidence of ACE inhibition so why does that matter okay if you remember from me talking about dehydration um, when you are dehydrated you don't have adequate blood flow your body is sending out that signal for angiotensin. Angiotensin causes your vessels to contract, to constrict. So especially some of those smaller arterioles and smaller arteries, especially those that go to your penis, you know, you can have a, uh, your flaccid size can significantly decrease when you are dehydrated, for example. And so when you are taking a component like this, you can actually limit that angiotensin and maximize blood flow at all points. And so this could lead to you having like a larger flaccid hang, for example, okay? You have the increased nitric oxide production and you have the angiotensin converting enzyme inhibition and so um, those are two important things that especially PE specific of course working out it's going to help with blood flow and even there's some evidence that can help with actually managing your blood pressures but specifically for PE this can be a major game changer and which is why we included it in our uh, product the last thing is agmatine sulfate for those that don't know that agmatine is literally kind of a precursor that helps to stimulate the nitric oxide synthase and so nitric oxide synthase is actually the thing that actually causes you to make nitric oxide to stimulate that NO production and so if you have this ingredient once again you're going to increase that nitric oxide production increase your nitric oxide bioavailability so even with or without the precursors like citrulline okay and once again there's also evidence of protection against certain neurologic disorders like stroke and Alzheimer's disease okay and that's evidence is this paper right here so what are some safety issues some safety concerns some safety things to keep in mind well the first thing is hypotension or low blood pressure and so particularly if you go from like a sitting to a standing or a lying to a standing position, something that's called orthostatic hypotension. And so when you go from a sitting or standing position, there's changes to your actual blood pressure that can occur, that should occur in order to make sure that even though kind of your, uh, your blood supply is more or less changing because you're going from a sitting position to a standing position, you want to make sure that you're still basically perfusing your brain, okay? So I don't know if anybody's ever stood up too fast and they start to get lightheaded. It's because your body is not appropriately adjusting to that change in your blood pressure. And so that is something that could potentially happen with this, specifically with any kind of citrulline or arginine supplement, is that you could have hypotension. It's one of the warnings that they put out there. And so if, especially if this is combined with something like a PDE5 inhibitor like Viagra Cialis, just be aware. I don't have issues with it. Most people don't have issues with it, whether it be our product or any other pre-workout that's on the market, okay? But just be aware that you don't, you know, if you're new to taking any of this stuff, just when you first start taking it for the first 
30 to 60 minutes, just make sure you're aware of how your blood pressure is kind of working, especially when you go from sitting to standing. So the next thing that is kind of controversial is actually herpes outbreaks, okay? Arginine is a precursor in the virus replication pathway. And so if you are prone to herpes infections, okay, could you in theory have more out herpes outbreaks when you are taking any kind of arginine or citrulline based supplement? Yes, in theory, and that's what they've seen in kind of an in vitro, meaning under like test tubes in a laboratory setting, they have seen that, but there actually has not been any real published clinical evidence that shows that taking something like a citrulline actually leads to increased outbreaks. And so I think that this is more of a theoretical risk, something to be aware of, but I don't think it's something that's really practical in the real world. However, if you have herpes, type one or type two, so oral genital, and you are prone to outbreaks and you're just more prone than your average person, then yeah, I would be a little careful taking this or any other arginine or citrulline based pre-workout, okay? In general, I would always advise you to talk to your doctor before taking this or any other supplements that that might that you know you might be interested in taking okay um, so that's just a kind of a disclaimer talk to your doctor and so in conclusion vigor what's the big deal well we have a lot of really amazing ingredients that I think are researched really well it's made in a high quality here in the US actually here in Georgia this is made in labs that often have what we call third-party testing meaning they make a product then they test to see the product is legit and then they can send it somewhere to make sure that when we say this is what you're getting this is actually what you're getting and so this is high quality stuff guys we could have easily and much cheaper you know gotten the shit made in some lab in china and had it much more available to you but we wanted to do things right and we wanted to make sure you guys are getting high in quality ingredients that you can trust you know or else me and bd wouldn't put our names on this okay this product amazing nitric oxide production not only just increased nitric oxide from citrine and arginine but also precursors to nitric oxide pathway and also stimulating that enzyme that nitric oxide synthase to actually have more nitric oxide production. You can have better erections, which can lead ultimately to bigger erections. You can have better PE recovery. You can reverse and help prevent any further endothelial damage, whether it be from PE or trauma or smoking, hypertension, okay, or just normal aging, honestly. You can maximize your healthy blood flow, which is once again going to help with injury prevention and injury recovery. And it has agents in it that are going to increase your flaccid hang, like those that have some effect on the angiotensin converting enzyme. Okay, you can have better workouts, you have better energy, and you have better output as far as your actual the amount that you can lift and the energy that you can exert during your workout. And on top of that, better focus. There's even components in it that help with mental clarity, memory, decreasing the risk of neurologic disease, and overall improved cognition. I mean, I know it sounds like oh my god, it's too good to be true, but like, dude, I just showed you the papers that that have evidence for all of these ingredients. And so um, it's just something to keep in mind, guys. We have a great product. I'd love for you to try it. Me and BD have worked real hard on this. I personally have spent countless hours researching this shit and putting this together um, in a way that I think is going to be effective. And not only that, I think it tastes really good, guys. And so if you want to support us, um, we would absolutely love that. I would absolutely love that. I know you get a great product and you get to support me at the same time. And, and so what's better than that, right? Anyways, guys, do your own research, including this product. I have researched it. I think it's right for me. And that's why I felt comfortable putting it out to the market. It's up to you to figure out if it's right for you. But if you need it, leviathansubs.com, it is available now. I will be doing a similar video on the actually the other product that we have coming out, which increases your semen volume and actually fertility, believe it or not. I have my patreon.hink if you need injury coaching. And of course, you can find me on Getting Bigger. But until the next one, guys, peace.